Hello and welcome to Yerushalmi Brachas, Daf Samach Zayin, and that was Vahadar Print. Um, three short Ha'aras today, two on the page, and one more global. We're in the sixth parak, which is a lot of the halachas of Brachas. So it tells the story that Rav Chuna was eating dates with his bread, which we know normally an appetizer might require, a Bracha might not. So Rav Chia Bar Ashi said to him, are you arguing with your Rebbe, who ruled him in, uh, earlier that um, if you eat these, if you eat this, then you have to make a bracha before and after. So he answered him, no, I'm not arguing at all. This is part of my actual meal. This is literally my meal. So it's not an appetizer. And we know in halacha that there's a whole conversation about people that eat um, fruit appetizers. I'm not going to go through all the halachas. Take a look at the tour Arachaim. It's in uh, Kuf Ayin Zion, Sifkatan Gimel. And there's a whole interesting bear halacha over there as well if you want. But basically... Um, this is one of the makaros for people that eat bread together with, it's in the, it's in the Bavli as well, uh, people that eat bread together with a fruit, that, that would potter it from a bracha. I and Shum, but I just like to point out some of the halachic things when we see it coming from the Gemara itself. It's very fascinating. Um, also, the Gemara says a story, which is actually right beforehand. Rechanina says, Bar Sisan Havi Ilan Dineshaya Mishal Chinle Mik Velasin. So, Levi Bar Sisi, which they add in, would often be sent Nick Lovsin from the household of a Nasi. So you see there was a hush of gift being sent, and they talk about w- when he would eat them and how the bracha is involved with the meal or not involved, etc. So I want to just share a couple of um, the Mepharshim that explain. So um, the Arach brings down, and the Pnei Moshe here brings it down as well, and the Rosh is really quoted as well, that this was a, this Niklas was a superior quality of food that the um Ovdeh Avodah would send to their gods, their idols. So this is a very hush of thing. The Haredim brings down that it was a type of pasa Baba Kistan, which is what the whole thing is talking about, which makes sense. And then the Rosh Srilia actually says that it's a very, very superior type of dates, which makes sense in the context here because we're talking about fruit. And the Mosef Arach on the Arach says that it was named after the philosopher, who I don't know who this is, Nicholas of Damascus. That's why it's called the uh, Niklavskin, Niklavskin. And he used to send these dates to Syria to Augustus Caesar in Rome, who I guess had, had an affinity towards them. But again, showing that there are so many chashev, it makes sense that the Nasi would send them. The last thing I want to talk about, not going into the exact halachic parts, but there's a machlokas between how to understand what Beisham and Basil held and how that paskins. There's a, suffice it to say, when you learn through the plot, you'll see there's a huge machlokas between Babli and Yerushalmi. Not huge, but significant machlokas about what Beisham actually held, what Basil actually held, etc. And the Rambam seems to paskin like Yerushalmi. And the, the reason for this, it's brought down um, some of the Mepharshim here, and also the, the Gilead Ashas quotes this, it's not Ricky Baker, it's the person on the side, and the domestic Eliezer also brings it down in the in, in Archaim, that basically, that since the since the Yerushalmi is clear what the Shita is, and the Bavli left off with a Shila, so therefore you follow the one that knows, and the Yerushalmi says it knows. So many people explain that's why the Rambam Paskins like this Yerushalmi. We talked about this formula. Other Mepharshim try to say, like the Kesa Mishnah, and the Lecha Mishnah, they try to learn, no, no, he's really following the Bavli, and this is why. Um, the Rashba says clearly, um, in Brachas, Daf Mem Beis, on the Beis, where this concurrent um, Sugi shows up, and the Haredim here quotes it, which is, you just see his tremendous Bikiyas, the Haredim. So he says that actually, um, even though the Bavli, he says that the Rashba says it, even though the Bavli um, was Mesopic and the Yushami seems not to be Mesopic and says an answer, since the Bavli was Mesopic, that's how we paskin, Lechumra. So again, you see clearly that there's a different approach there, um, and that is just interesting as we're learning through the Bavli and Yushami and understanding things um, from a historical standpoint, and etc. I wish you a great day.